Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm Teresa Crawley at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Today I have a pretty unique uh, motorhome to show you. This is a 2024 Mountaineer diesel pusher. Floor plan is 3823 and this is a pre-owned unit. So I'm going to say a barely used, less than 5,000 mile unit. Um, the person that bought this decided they wanted to go a little bit longer. But I have to tell you, this has everything in it that your longer motorhome is going to have with the exception of an extra bathroom. So they've packed everything, every luxury high-end amenity, as well as safety features into 38 feet and 10 inches long. So when I say every amenity, I mean heated floors, central vacuum, stackable washer dryer, all electric, power blinds. Um, I can't really imagine what else you need. Uh, we do have a 525 horsepower Cummins engine in this little bitty coach. So that's gonna be more than enough power uh, with your weight to torque ratio. It's just gonna be awesome going over those mountain passes, even full of um, all of your stuff and towing up to 15,000 pounds. So really a well-equipped motor home and it's a little bit smaller so that you can fit it into a lot more places. A lot more parks are gonna accept this link. Length, excuse me. Um, we do have a lot of uh, safety features on here as well that we'll get to when we get to the um, cab area. Um, and also we have solar added and lithium ion batteries, an extra inverter, 10,000 watt uh, Cummins Onan generator here. So truly a well-equipped, plenty of power, plenty of electric motor home for you to do off-grid camping or in the park camping. So let's dig into it. I'll show you just some of the great amenities that we have in this coach. Um, starting off, I'll just show you that we have these touch panels throughout the coach and you'll see them as we walk through. I'm not going to stop at all of them, but they basically do the same things. Um, a little bit of variation depending on where they're located, but you'll have ceiling lights, dinette lights, overhead lights, accent wall courtesy um, there that you can put at a dim or all the way on and just you just hit the button like that. We also will have the ability to turn our fans on and off from here. So those are going to be an exhaust fan that's either in your master bath or your kitchen area. So you can um, operate that with your rain sensor override, high, medium, low, etc. We also have the ability to um, put all of our day shades or our night shades up all at the same time, or we can of course do them individually. Right now, I'll just show you kitchen, living room, day shades. The night shades, as I'm sure you can imagine, uh, completely darken out the motorhome, but these day shades are really great if you just wanna get a little bit of light, or if it's a really hot day, you don't wanna let all the heat in, so you wanna block a little bit of that. It's also great for privacy, just if you're in a place where other people are gonna be parked next to you, things like that, you can put down those day shades and walk around comfortably without feeling like you're in the spotlight. So again, just push the button, those are all gonna go up. And then also on this uh, panel, we'll be able to monitor how is our power looking? And also, how are our tanks looking? Do I need to fill up my fresh? Do I need to go dump, etc.? cetera? There is um, a bit of redundancy to these as far as there's another, a little bit more um, comprehensive system that we'll get to in a little bit. And those are on a bigger panel. But like I said, we'll get to that in a few moments. This is just a quick touch for anywhere you're at in the motorhome. Um, if you want to just do, ooh, I forgot to check the water or um, things like that, you can do that at really quickly. Um, the other thing here is that you have the ability to put your televator or your TV lift up and down, as well as turn your water pump on. So the TV lift is over here. It's a great feature because if you just wanted to get some sunlight in the coach, and just enjoy the scenery. You don't have to have this TV obstructing your view. 
You can put it away when you don't want to use it, but when it is time to settle down and watch a show, um, you've got two opposing, well, we've got opposing sofas here um, that also will turn into sleepers. Now this one over here is of course the one you'd want to watch for TV, and they did include these two ottomans, which are storage ottomans as well. For those of you who don't understand what I'm saying, they just have plenty of room in there for blankets or magazines, things like that. But also so you can kick your feet up. The other thing, um, these front seats, as in every diesel pusher, do turn all the way around. So you can include this as part of your living room area. Um, there also is another TV up above the passenger seat there. Now that's not for watching TV as you're going down the road. That is for if you have two different programs that you wanna be watching, um, you're trying to entertain kids with a video game console or, or just to get a better view so that your neck isn't craned if you're not in the perfect position to look at this TV. So just another great option for you of how you wanna use your motorhome. Um, we of course have storage all the way around. This one is full of manuals so that all the manuals are still included here. And you'll see as we go through this coach, with less than 5,000 miles, pretty much everything has not been used or opened. Um, so you'll find that things are intact. Some of the stickers are still on some of the products as well. So in this motorhome, we have a table rather than a booth dinette. And that has to do with the size of this slide out. There just was not room to put a booth dinette here. So if you were to order this particular floor plan, this is what you would have to choose. You can't get the padded booth, but this is a great little table. Um, there are two fold-up chairs that match the decor in here that are kept under the, the master bed. Um, so you do have two um, extenders that are hidden under there. So you can have and also the two fold-up chairs, obviously. So you can have some extra guests with you, even pull over an ottoman and you could have five people sitting at this table comfortably. So they did think it out. It's not just for two people. There is room for other people to sleep and to hang out as well. And of course there's storage up above here in this as well that goes all the way through. It's not blocked with dividers in there. Moving over to the kitchen area, I love how they designed this so that whoever is having to do the work in the kitchen, the dishwashing or the preparing, they can still visit with the people that are sitting watching TV or hanging out out here. So it's facing this way really nicely. There are sink covers that are perfectly cut for this area too that I have stored right now. I just wanted you to be able to see that you've got a really good deep sink on one side and another one that's great for rinsing as well. So two-sided two stainless steel sink. We also have a really nice sprayer here to get all the gunk out of there. Um, this island opens up a couple of different ways too. These are those Corian covers I was telling you about. And then on this side, we have a place for a trash can that pulls right out for you conveniently. And then another tray that does pull out all the way so you can put your cleaning supplies or whatever it is that you like to keep under your sink right there. Little place here for sponges and things. And when the slide comes in, this counter is gonna be the one that moves. This does not move. So this is gonna come over and you're still gonna have access to this side of your sink. So really well thought out, well designed. You can still use this when you're in travel mode. Over here, we've got some storage drawers and this one's really quite deep. Um, you could put some really tall spice um, canisters in there. And then some more full extension drawers here. And these are gonna be soft closing as well. There's another one. And then I'll show you this one real quick too. Now, I always feel people get overwhelmed when I open this drawer. Wow, there's so many remotes here. Well, there are a lot of remotes, but there are also a lot of TVs in here. Um, 
I'm going to just say don't stress. We do a very, very comprehensive walkthrough with every coach, new or used, that you purchase from TransWest. We're going to teach you how to use all those. And honestly, some of them are just redundant. So you don't necessarily have to have four universal remotes. Back here, we have yet another pull out. Makes it a little bit easier to reach these things that are stored a little bit further back. Another one right here as well. So very, very usable kitchen space. Here, of course, we have your convection microwave oven that was added this year to have an air fry feature. I love that. It's one less appliance you have to bring with you. So of course, a convection microwave. It's marked by the metal inside. That's how you can tell. But you can bake and crisp in here, so you can actually make cookies or a pizza. This is that fantastic fan I was telling you about that sucks out exhaust. And it works very well and very quickly. I'd say about 20 seconds and you have a completely different temperature coach than what you walked into if it was a really hot day. And another Newmar thing that I absolutely am a fan of, the induction cooktop can go outside. So if you wanted to make something that's gonna be a little bit messy like bacon, fish, something like that, you don't wanna stink up the whole coach, take that cooktop outside, put a little table out there and cook outside. It's a great way to host friends too. So they made that an option for you and there are plugins underneath the coach so that you have the ability to do that. Now on the other side here, these are cutting boards. So dual purpose for your covers. Down here, we've added a dishwasher to this unit as well. So, and if you think, oh gosh, that's just silly. I don't need a dishwasher. It makes a great storage place as well. Now you'll notice there is another one of these touch screen panels here for the lighting. And again, they're just peppered throughout the coach. Here we have your Whirlpool residential refrigerator. Good amount of space. I don't know if they ever even put a gallon of milk in here. It's so clean. And down here's your freezer. Don't be alarmed by that. That's actually winterizing fluid because uh, Colorado's weather's been pretty unpredictable. It could freeze at night, but this is where your ice tray is. And then you have more room down there for all your other frozen goods. And Right here, they implemented a little lock and it's very, very easy to use. I've seen other motorhomes that have uh, Velcro across the top or just these really ugly, bulky um, locks for their refrigerator. And that's because when you take a corner too fast, if this isn't secured properly or if it just gets loose from usage, um, this will fly open. Your pickles will be all over the floor. It's a really big mess and kind of a safety hazard as well. So to have an integrated lock right there, really great idea. We also have water right there in the door and you can get to this easily when your slides are in. I'll show you that later as we are gonna head to the outside of the coach, what it looks like closed up. Little bit more storage up here. Oops, sorry about that. And another one over here as well. Some of these you think, well, what in the world could I ever put in there? Believe me, you'll find something to put in there. Motorhomes are always, you're always got a premium for storage. And some more full extension drawers. Now your pantry here has a really clever design at the bottom as well, where these can pull out and move. So you can put whatever size pans or baking uh, dishes down there that you desire. Um, you can just make that accommodate your needs and over here a little bit more room so that is the kitchen area now we're obviously in the hall section um, and this is the first of these big panels that i kept referring to earlier more comprehensive version of what we've been looking at throughout the coach um, this is going to have a little bit more intensive look at your batteries, um, your generator, things like that, as well as the ability to start your auto gen set. So you can set your generator 
Say you're going to leave for the day, you want to make sure that your puppy doesn't get overheated. You can make your generator go on when the temperature gets to a certain number or if it's a certain time of day, things like that. You can set it up however you like to have that set up and you can rely on this working for you when you're away from the coach. The other great thing about this um, is it's called the Silverleaf system, um, but you can actually put an app on your phone called the MyRosy app and you can control this panel from your phone. So you can be checking on your coach when you're in another state How's the climate? Uh, are my batteries about to die, et cetera? Things like that. You can also do your lights and shades and door locks and fans here um, as you can on those little ones. Um, you can also turn on floor heat. You've got three zones of floor heat on this coach. So you can do front, rear, and mid area, which would be this kitchen area. Um, you can uh, turn on your Oasis system, which is your continuous hot water system. Um, check your batteries, all kinds of stuff here. And again, don't get overwhelmed by this screen. I'm giving you a very quick overview, but our walkthrough technician gives you a not <laughs> high flying overview. He gets really um, deep so that you completely understand how to use your coach. Um, you can take notes, you can ask questions. You can even spend the night in our campground to make sure you got it. So. Don't worry about this stuff. Um, we're here to support you and help you even after the sale. Um, one more thing, in this area we do have the central vacuum. This is where we're gonna put the hose in if we were to use it more like a traditional vacuum. In this bathroom, and I want you to notice how I open this door. For one thing, there's no handle to catch your shirt on. So this is very sleek, hidden, but it also pivots right here in the middle. And that's so that you can get into this easier when the slide is in. So the other part of your vacuum system is right here on the floor. And you'll see I can sweep to that and then just kick that up and it'll suck it away into the basement area. And we'll see that um, where that's enclosed in the basement when we get down there. So in the bathroom area, we have another one of those fans. We have a lighted uh, vanity here. So your medicine cabinet has lights right here integrated. When I open it, you'll see that there is a felt carpeting in here. And that is the case for all of these storage um, compartments throughout the coach. This is just a really good place for you to be able to see it up close and personal. There's also um, a plug in here for your razor or whatever you need to charge. And another little surprise one down here. I was kind of looking under here to see if there was another outlet and I couldn't see one. And then I pushed on that and this popped down for me. So I thought, well, that's a good way to hide it. Really clever place for that. We do have more storage here. And I'm just gonna open these all up and then I'm gonna back out of the way so the camera can get a good view here. Lots of places, and they are, a lot of these shelves throughout, you'll notice, are adjustable, so you can change the positions of them. And beautifully done. Really strong hinges on these, on the Numar product. They make a really good quality motorhome. Even when I get them traded in after 10 years, they don't squeak and rattle like a lot of the other brands do even after one year of use. So I'm a big believer in the Newmar product. This is an emergency exit door. Um, we can see where that goes um, when we go to the outside of the coach, but this is for your safety mainly. So if there was some kind of an emergency, you would be able to get out of the coach really easily without having to squeeze through a tiny window. Um, this does have a drop down ladder that is enclosed in here. And you'll be able to see that when I pull this back in, but this is also a great place to just throw out your trash or if you're gonna go do laundry somewhere, things like that. 
but there's that ladder that's integrated. It's very easy. You just pop it and then it drops down for you. So very easy in an emergency situation. So the shower here, I don't think that I need to get in for you to see it well, but it's really beautiful. I love how they did the drain. Um, this shower, um, it's down here just because it's winterized right now, so they have to let the fluid drain. But we do have an integrated shampoo, conditioner, body wash, as well as an integrated um, bench seat. So if you needed to flip that down, it's very easy to do. Um, if you needed to shave your legs or take a seat for any reason, that's there already in, in there for you. Um, we also have this little thing here, which is weird looking and doesn't make any sense until I explain it to you. It's called the Aqua Miser system. So say you want your water to be this hot, this is gonna tell you when it gets to that temperature, and then you can choose to actually have the water come out of the faucet. So you're not wasting water that's not heated up enough. It's really great, especially if you are boondocking in your coach, to not be just letting your perfectly good water go down the drain just because it's not to your liking. So I really love that they've implemented that system in these Mars recently. So most of your space is saved by not having a bath and a half in this coach. You know, it's less to clean too. So it's a win-win in my book. Back here, we're going into the bedroom area. And I just wanted you to see that there is a full um, sliding door here that does lock once it's in place here or in its resting position. And it does have a full length mirror on the other side of it. Now, hopefully we can get a shot of that when we come in here. But we do have a rounded corner king size bed. This is not an RV king. This is a king with just the very, very ends here cut off to make it easier for you to get to your closet or to whatever space you're trying to get to around corners. Um, under the bed, as promised, we have those two extra fold-up chairs as well as two leafs for that table in the dining area. And I love how they put these on shocks. It's really easy to lift this up and put it down. So I'm gonna to go to the underside of this bed area so that you can know what's going on up here. It's really difficult to see it with the camera view, but here we have buttons so that you can turn speakers on here. So that would be a surround sound system. And then we have another one of those touch screen buttons up here. So the beauty of this is that when it's time to go to sleep, you can hit all lights off and that'll be the whole coach lights off. We're also gonna have security lights for outside. Of course, our shades for this room are gonna be in here as well. And we can actually turn this display off so that it's not shining in our eyes at night. We do have reading lights on either side of the bed here. And another thing that you're not gonna be able to see, but there is an outlet for tubing here. And the reason they do that is if you had any cords or a sleep apnea machine that you needed to house up here, they can drop through this area and you have a place for that. They, uh, Numar was getting a lot of feedback that people didn't have anywhere to put their sleep apnea machine. So they also put a plug in there for that machine. So you can keep those up here, no problem, and not have to worry about, well, where's the tubing gonna go? Or am I gonna have to leave this door open just to get it down to where I can use it? So they've handled that situation. Here we have your closet area. It does light up when you open it. It also has a great amount of space for shoes, hanging rod as well. And then over here, we just have your breaker box, um, things like that. So easy to get to, but not so easy for kids to get to. Love that. Right here we have your washer and dryer. These are stackable, so work much, much better than the all-in-ones of the past. Um, Splendid, both. I get a lot of great feedback on these. Just people love having them, even when they thought they wouldn't need them. But 
you know, when you go to a laundromat, you never know who used it before you, if they um, washed rocks in there or oil or who knows what. So you're going to keep your clothes, uh, you know, confidently safe from who, whatever is in those laundry machines from before you. Here we have another Samsung flat screen TV, but this one has a little bit of a trick to it. It does pull out. Let me get this. There we go. Pull this out so you can move it and angle it how you want to view it best. But even more of a surprise, if you can get a shot back here, we've got storage that's hidden as well as a safe that's hidden back here. So you can hide things, especially those people who are living in their coaches full time. That's where you're going to want to keep your passports and important documents. Um, it's really nice that that's integrated in there. And of course, you can program that code to your liking. And then this will click back into space and nobody needs to be the wiser unless they've watched my videos. Sorry. We've got four of these drawers here. So one, two, three, four. We have three of these across and this one is very deep. I'll never be able to find the right color socks in this drawer because there's room for so many of them. And then three across here of this size. And again, Corian throughout. So if you're seeing these solid surface countertops, that's, they're gonna hold the test of time. And if they happen to get scraped, you can always get them polished as well. A Little bit more storage here and yet another touchscreen panel. This is a mirror of the big one that we looked at in the hallway, not of the little ones that just do lights, fans, shades. This does all of the things. All right, I'm gonna put these back um, slides in and then we'll move on to the front cab area. And we can check out some of the conveniences and comfort of the driving area, as well as the patch of passengers area. So you'll see when this back area is closed up, you can still use the bed, get up on there. Um, you can't really get to that back closet or, or the washer and dryer when it's closed up like this because it does come all together. But you can take a nap if you need to. That's what I'd be doing. All right, and before we move all the way forward, I'm gonna put these ottomans up. If they get forgotten, then I can't close the slides and that's a bad thing. There we go. And I know you can't feel this on the video, but this is super, super soft, smooth, ultra leather is what they call it. It is Villa Furniture, so well known for being a good quality furniture manufacturer. And they also make these front seats here, so they're just as soft and supple as your sofas are. One thing I did want to point out here, the passenger seat is extra wide. Um, that makes it really nice if you have your puppies with you. You can keep them on your lap. These seats are completely electric. They have footrests that are electric. They can tilt back and lumbar and all of the things. They're also both heated. And the driver's seat has haptic feedback. So if you're becoming uh, too close to a car in front of you um, and you have your cruise control on, that's going to vibrate for you. Um, so another just great safety feature there. Also on this passenger side, we have an extra monitor. So this is going to be a place where they can punch in where you're going for navigation. They can also change the radio or what you're listening to. And that's just great for the person driving to not have to be distracted in another way. We also have the ability to look at different camera angles here and they can change that for the driver. So the driver, again, not distracted. Um, we also have a really comfortable, usable space here for the passenger. We have a charger for your cell phone. There's also one for the driver, but we'll get there in a moment. We have patio light visor, which is gonna be this one here, your day shade for this window here. Step cover, that is a 
piece of floor that comes across here to make this a flat surface. So you don't feel like your feet are dangling when you're traveling down the road. Then we have a map light here and a ceiling light as well. Also, they have a little table that they can use while going down the road and it stows away really nicely. Um, isn't gonna make noise or anything like that when it's not being used. So great that they have that there for this person. If they're bored, they certainly are gonna have things to do. Um, and then the driver's area. We do have a push button start here. And you can hear the air system just getting ready and checking itself. And then you can see how nice and bright this uh, front screen is. Very uh, easy to decipher what's going on, but also you can personalize this to exactly what you want it to be showing you at the time. For example, if you wanted to be checking, um, let's see here. We'll go through a few of these here. Comfort Drive is one of the most important things uh, to point out because it's um, exclusive to Numar. And what that does is it's going to measure the torque that you're putting on the steering wheel. And within 15 seconds, it's going to take over for you. So you're not going to be exhausted at the end of the day trying to fight wind or divots in the road, things like that. Um, we can also do diagnostics and service things here. We can change the what we're looking at as far as units, sound. We can check out our tire pressure monitoring system if that's what we want to be looking at. Lots of good things here. Air leveling, um, the brightness of the screen itself, what messages you have, this particular trip. You can also adjust your cruise control, your mobile eye, which is going to um, decide how far the person in front of you is going to be before it starts alerting you. And we also have lane assist on here as well. So these are all things that you can mess with in here. If you want that to be the predominant thing you're looking at, you can change that. Um, moving over here, we do have HWH computerized leveling. Those are actually the levelers that come down. They can lift you and move you around. Um, then of course your Allison transmission here. We have the ability to dump our tag here. Engine brake on off, high, medium, low here. And for me, I like to have my engine brake on all the time, um, except for when if there are wet conditions or snow on the ground, you do not want your engine brake on. Um, over here, we have a map light your, and your light controls, of course, bright, dim. We have auto high beams. ATC override. This is your toll window um, button. So you don't have to jump out to pay your toll. It's just really convenient to have that there. You can also turn your air horn on and off right here. And you can steal a uh, battery from your house batteries to get to your chassis if your chassis battery happens to be running low. Over here, these are your um, mirror controls. These are also heated, and this is your Kurt uh, braking system controller there, so you can turn it up or down. Um, if you don't understand what that means, this coach already has built in an air system for a towing situation. So that could be if you just wanna bring a little Jeep, if you wanna bring a stacker trailer for, full of horses, um, whatever that may be that you want to tow, again, up to 15,000 pounds, your air system is already set up. So that's gonna save you money and time at the shop trying to get that all ready for you. It's pretty much ready. Um, of course, cruise control here. We have the ability to do your phone and your uh, windshield wipers here. This is for your radio system and your, um, your lights again. This again is that screen we were looking at up here. And then over here, we have the ability to move our pedals um, closer or further away from us. So just a really handy thing. If you're on the fly, you, you're like, ooh, this isn't quite working how I was hoping it would when I started driving. You can just move that there. Um, this steering wheel does have an, a lot of adjustment as well, but it's just on a pedal down on the left-hand side near the floor. Um, over here we have your front fan and those are your defroster fans that are hidden on this coach. They don't stick out 
um, but they're right there and you can turn that on or off high medium low um, then we have high medium low for our furnace which comes from our continuous hot water system that's going to be throughout the coach as well as in the cab area but that's what that high medium low is and those come out in registers down on the floor area um, we have courtesy lights for the floor so we can walk around safely. Um, generator start stop here and then the entry can be locked and unlocked here. And then we have lots of visor options here within reach as well. So if I wanted to put my darkening shade here, the sun is just really getting in my eyes. I can do that while I'm driving. It'll only go halfway when the coach is on for safety reasons, but at nighttime or if you're just parked, you can put these down all the way. So that's pretty much it for the driving area. Up here, we're gonna look at a few of the controls um, that are just right above this area. Um, this is your solar panel um, information system, letting you know how much is coming in and where it's going to. This is gonna be satellite system. This is your Girard awnings uh, package. So this coach didn't even have the option to not get the good awnings. You have to have them. Um, unfortunately for you, you're gonna have the most beautiful awnings on the block. Um, but basically the Girard Nova awnings come out and then they drop down. They're absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna put them out now so we can see them when we go outside. And then we also have awnings on the windows on this coach, not optional either. They, they're, um, it says optional, but they are included in this coach. So I'm gonna put these all out so we can see that as we walk around the outside of the coach. Then we have security lights outside, privacy drape. That's the one that we just covered that was also on the switch down here. Um, door privacy drape, passenger uh, drape, again, those are redundant. We can turn our Wi-Fi router on or off. We can turn our exterior step on or off. And the reason that you would want to do that is say you're opening the door coming in and out a lot and you don't want to have to wait for it to come all the way back out before you step. That's why you would keep that off. Um, it's going to come in automatically when you put the vehicle into um, drive, but it's nice to be able to lock it when you're just going in and out and opening the door a lot. Um, so then we have our slide out controls here. This is something that was new this year and it's really a great option. So we have um, these lithium batteries under here. Um, in the past, when we had the lithium batteries, we would have to actually go outside, go to the bay and find a switch that's way in the back to restart them if they happen to need it that need that sorry now we can just come here and do it right there and it'll refresh them and they'll come right back for you this is a diagnostic plug-in down here separate system um, for mechanics to use to see if there's anything going on so that's a cost saving feature but really great systems going on in here um, i need to make sure that i got these awnings out so we can get a good look at them but i might need to Let's see. Let's see here. I'm also going to start pulling in slides so we can go outside and look at those underneath bays without hitting our heads. Okay, so I'm going to walk through here real quick just so you can see how much space there is. Um, there's really quite a bit of space here. I'm going to say 20 inches at least. And then moving back here, still 20 inches. It gets a little bit tighter here, but I can still get into this bathroom area because of that cool pivot door. 
and into the refrigerator as well. So I have this locked, but I'll pull it out. So yeah, I can grab a drink there, no problem. All right, I think we're ready to move outside. Hopefully I didn't forget anything in here. If I did, feel free to email me, call me, text me, and hopefully I can get you all the information that you need to make an educated decision. So right here at the entry door, they put some really great storage places in the step. So this one is obviously a little bit shallower. This one goes all the way down. So you can put your flip-flops, dog leashes, jackets, umbrellas, whatever you need in those step areas for when you're leaving the coach. And then we've got a really sturdy door. Newmar makes these great doors that don't blow in and out with the wind. I think that's just so smart. They're really stout doors. Um, they also are really well insulated so that you don't hear the sound when they're closed. Um, we have people switching from other brands all the time, staying in our campground, and they'll say, well, when I was in my old coach, I could hear, we have a really busy interstate here, they could hear it all. But when they moved into their Newmar, they sleep like babies because they can't hear it. So it's a fantastic testament to the insulation that also is gonna play out when you have your air conditioning on or your heating on and you're trying to keep the outside elements from coming in. Um, real quick, Newmar does put Michelin tires on. These are the biggest tires that I've seen on a motorhome. Um, and they do this standard um, because it gives you a better ride. They also include the Al Alcoa wheels for you. Right here we have one of the sides of your dual fuel fill. So you can actually be at the pump putting both sides of fuel in at the exact same time, saving you time at the pump. In this compartment, we have refrigerator freezer, and this is programmable to your liking. So if you want one side to be for just beverages, one side to keep popsicles, you can do that however you like to have this programmed. You can have it all just a refrigerator, all just a freezer, you can do that. It's really easy to get to because this comes out so far. A Little bit of a tricky door here that splits in half. So you have a really nice wide area to put stuff under here. And these are both powered storage trays. Now, obviously you can see we have the components for your vacuum system here. On the one next to me, we have extra tiles in case your porcelain tile in the coach happens to break. It does not break in new Mars because of bend and twist. They've really figured out how to stop that from happening with their star foundation. That's more for if you drop something on it, you have some extra ones that are gonna match perfectly. And down here, as promised, this is your vacuum system. This is where you're gonna change out the bag, but you can also put these in, you can hook these up down here and vacuum out your basement. Really nice if you're, if you like to keep things clean. Of course, Newmar always does full body paint. They don't even have the option of decals, so they do such a beautiful job. Um, you can feel how they've cut the edges to make sure that they're not bumpy and sticking out really far. In other brands, you'll notice what I'm talking about, but definitely no decals, no stickers. They're not gonna peel and crack and look ugly over, over a year's time or less. Down here, we do have your outside TV and soundbar. We also have the ability to have your music Bluetooth or brought from the front um, area of the, the cab. There's also this really nice stainless steel trim that was added as an option. And these are stainless steel handles. That's just going to help with rock chips and things. And this, of course, it's a high use area. So paint on here can get all chipped and looking just bad over time. 
back here is where your DEF or diesel exhaust fluid is housed. This is also dual fill, so you'll see on the opposite side of the coach, there's a place you can put that in at the same time as well. And this is something that Spartan does that's unique to them, is they have the access to your air dryer here, um, so you can change that out in your filter here as well. And then you can turn off your chassis batteries here. So if you're going to be leaving your coach for a while, you can just turn those off and not drain these batteries. These are, of course, your starting batteries back here. To the back of the coach again, this is a 525 horsepower Cummins engine. Very easy to access with a side radiator. And then you can, of course, get to some different fluids in here, check your oil. Um, also, your hydronic heating system reservoir is right here, so really easy to get to. Um, change your belts, things like that. For those of you who like to do things yourself or just like to keep on top of things, this is much easier than if you have a radiator here. Um, the side radiator is definitely an upgrade. Back here, 15,000 pound towing hitch, your air chuck, and a place to put in your seven-way pin. Side radiator on this side. Not much to see, but it looks nice. <laughs> There's that other deaf fill. And you'll notice how nice the slides close in. They're not uh, overlapping here. They do a much better seal this way. Over here, just a little pocket to put some gloves or things like that that you need to keep out outside and keep sanitary. Um, your water bay is the next one over, so obviously you'd want to probably put some things there to keep them hygienic. Um, oh, before I open this, I want you to see that there's midship turn signals and docking lights here as well. So great safety ads there. And I love how Numar does their water bay um, etched into this metal so that over time, if this was a sticker, and a macerator system. That's what this black hose is here. So that's gonna take all of the solids that are coming out of the coach, grind them up and pump them up, up a hill if need be. We also have a really great uh, touchscreen monitor here that can read your tank level. So you know if you're getting close to being filled or if you need to go dump, etc. cetera. Um, also lights out here, and then you can actually turn your generator on and off out course have um, uh, rinsing, uh, sorry, losing my words here, gray tank rinse, black tank rinse to keep those things fresh and hygienic, smelling good, paper towel holder or shower. And then we also have a rewind water uh, hose here. So that means that there's an electric button here. You just push it, it'll pull it back in for you so you don't have to wrestle with it. That also tells me that there's going to be a power rewind plug-in as well, and that'll be right here. So that 50 amp cord is 50 feet long, and it's gonna have a power rewind as well. So just push a button, keep your hands from getting all muddy if you're having to wrestle with muddy, uh, yucky frozen ground that you're getting that off of it's just going to make it a lot easier for you um, we also have your transfer switch with surge protector down there already integrated so you don't have to add it or buy one later oh this is your continuous hot water system slash furnace for the whole coach that is going to keep your basement warm as well if you have that running uh, in the winter time you don't have to worry about your basement freezing it's going to be pumped throughout here and keep this bottom uh, area really warm 
I had a customer call me the other day um, who had just purchased a Numar and he wanted to tell me a story. He had traded in um, a very popular, uh, well-respected other brand, which I'm not gonna mention, but he said, I put a thermostat in, or excuse me, a thermometer in the basement and in my coach and I had my Oasis running overnight. Much to my surprise, because this wasn't the case in his other coach that he traded in, his house part was exactly the temperature he'd set it to. He said, it's like a house. Like, and I'm thinking, isn't that what we should expect? Um, but he said, my basement was 60 degrees when I had this at 65 degrees. So it really kept it warm down here. He said, I, I just never knew that it could be this good. He, he said, I wanna thank you again for selling me a Numar. And why didn't you sell me a Numar earlier? I said, you know what, I tried. <laughs> So anyway, just a funny story that was not solicited. He just wanted me to know how much he loved his new coach. So anyway, down here, these are those lithium batteries we were talking about. And because you've got these two lithium batteries, um, with um, uh, we've got an extra inverter. So we have two 3,000 watt inverters down here. Um, that's going to make it so that you can run one of your air conditioners going down the road. Um, just so you know, on this coach, we do have two uh, 15,000 BTU air conditioner units with heat pumps. But it's really nice to not have to have your generator running while you're going down the road um, if you have guests in the back that want to stay cool. So just a, another nicety that Numar has done. One last bay. And this is where you're gonna be able to put out your generator, which is on a slide out, which I've done already. And then lots and lots of wires. One quick thing, I know talking about wires isn't very exciting, but I want you to see these little white stickers that are on here. And Numar does this every, I'm trying to remember the number, I think it was every hundred, inches or something like that but it's very very frequently throughout the coach they mark what wire is what so that anybody that has to come in and work on this coach will know without having to pull out all the wires waste time waste money possibly break something else in the meantime um, every little bit these are every wire is marked for what it does and what it corresponds to so really smart up here is that 10,000 Cummins Onan diesel generator. Has 73 miles on this very, very used coach. That was a joke. <laughs> but uh, again, you're gonna get a great, great, great price on this coach because it has been titled before, which constitutes it as being used, even though it really, in my opinion, wasn't used. I don't think they put anything in the refrigerator or slept in the bed, but um, I wasn't there for it. So <laughs> anyway, if you have any questions about this coach, need a spec sheet, um, if I missed anything or forgot something, please reach out to me. Ask for me by name if you call here. I'm happy to help you. My name is Teresa Crawley. And again, this is TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Hope you enjoy your day.